Russia put out a cryptocurrency missive from the central bank there, and they don't like Bitcoin or Bitcoin mining. In fact, they may very well ban the trading of it. They won't ban that you can hold it. But that cannot be helping the situation. Russia equals 10 percent of the Bitcoin mining market, does it not? So when you're looking at the funds that you have at Bitwise, where do you see a real opportunity? Well, that's a great question. We're actually relatively positive on Ru Russia's development, just like China's banning Bitcoin mining actually ended up helping the Bitcoin market. More sort of despotic regimes banning Bitcoin mining shows the power that Bitcoin has as a tool of economic freedom and the fundamental threat it offers because of that capability. So we see that as a positive. What we're more focused on on the regulatory perspective is actually something happening here in the U.S. in February. The Biden administration is supposed to put out an executive order on crypto. I think the tone and tenor of that order could help either end this period of market volatility if it's slightly more bullish than the market expects or extend it if it's more bearish than the market expects. The market's pricing in right now that mm -hmm. that executive order will be very negative for crypto. So it's a little bit hard to see it surprising on the downside. I think the hope is that it, it sort of weighs economic competitiveness and some of the positive aspects of crypto. Crypto, And that, to me, as I said, could mark, you know, maybe the interstitial end of this period of volatility. Uh, God bless you, Matt, for, for uh, you know, trying. Uh, I, I don't want to be insulting and say trying to spin it because I know you actually believe this. But when you say that when Russia and China uh, ban it, it's a positive. How is it a positive when, when Bitcoin was near 69,000 just several months ago? And on top of that, you hear everybody talking about this so-called Pikachu chart pattern. You know, if you look at Pikachu, it's got the two pointy ears. And, as, right. you know, you're, you're on the slide on both of those Pikachu ears. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about cartoon named chart patterns right now. But what I, I do think is true, what you're pointing to, is that we're at a period of deep market volatility. I expect that market volatility to extend. I don't think we're at the end of it. I think if you look at things like funding rates or the shape of the futures curve, we haven't reached the point of peak bearish sentiment. So I don't want to paper over the fact that this is a significant pullback and a significant setback. I do think sort of despotic regimes banning Bitcoin broadly feeds into the narrative of why it's valuable to society. And we have seen the network sort of shrug off China's crypto mining ban as crypto mining moved to a more geographically dispersed location. So I, I will stick by saying that that's positive. I think we're going to exit okay. this period of volatility and go on a significant bull run. But we definitely do have more work to do. And I, I'm not sure we've reached the maximum point of bearish sentiment. At least the indicators don't suggest that.